Welcome to the Louisiana Ecological Forestry Center. Our mission is to promote conservation of a diverse ecosystem dominated by longleaf pine through restoration, enhancement, and education. Today, we want to introduce you to prescribed burning, a valuable tool for landowners to maintain healthy forests, reduce wildfire risk, and improve wildlife habitat. Prescribed burning has been used for centuries as a natural way to manage land. It helps control invasive plants, enhances soil quality, and promotes the growth of native vegetation. By reducing excessive fuel loads, prescribed burns also lower the risk of destructive wildfires. Compared to mechanical clearing, fire is an efficient and cost-effective method for land management. Before deciding to burn, it's important to assess your land. Look for dense underbrush, invasive species, or a buildup of dry fuel. These conditions indicate that fire could benefit your property. If you're unsure, consult with a forestry expert. In Louisiana, there are guidelines for prescribed burning, whether it's done by a certified prescribed burn manager or a non-certified prescribed burn manager. If you are a non-certified prescribed burn manager in Louisiana or are unsure of the guidelines for prescribed burning, go to the LDAF website for more information. A link will be provided in the video description. Additionally, it is important to notify the local fire department and neighbors before burning to ensure safety and awareness. Always follow best practices to minimize smoke impact and avoid burning during red flag warnings. Weather conditions play a crucial role in fire behavior. The best conditions for a prescribed burn include consistent and moderate wind speeds, humidity between 30 and 55%, and stable temperatures. Avoid burning on extremely dry or windy days as fire can quickly become uncontrollable. Always check weather forecasts before proceeding. Proper land preparation is key to a successful and safe burn. Fire breaks should be established to contain the fire and prevent it from spreading beyond the designated area. Essential equipment includes a drip torch for controlled ignition, water tanks for suppression, and tools like fire rakes and flappers to manage the burn. Having a backup plan and emergency suppression resources on hand is crucial. On the day of the burn, follow your burn plan carefully. Light the fire in a controlled manner. Monitor the fire at all times, adjusting as needed to maintain control. If conditions change unexpectedly, be prepared to suppress the fire and halt the burn if necessary. Once the burn is complete, conduct a thorough assessment to ensure the burn area is safe and has no active fire. Monitor the site in the days following the burn to track regrowth and ensure no smoldering areas remain. Over time, you'll see the positive effects of fire as native plants regenerate, soil health improves, and wildlife returns. To better understand the value of prescribed fire and how landowners can get started, we spoke with Rodney, the land manager at the Louisiana Ecological Forestry Center. Prescribed burning can be a vital tool for landowners in Louisiana. You can increase the carrying capacity of wildlife and also diversify your wildlife you can reduce your wildfire risks for your property and for your neighbors. And you can also improve the aesthetics of your property and improve how your property looks. It may be flowers or wild grasses. Uh, you may end up with pollinators on this, and this may be something you enjoy rather than hunting or, or something of that nature. Uh, there's a whole host of benefits of, of prescribed burning for your property. There are multiple resources to help you if you're going to burn on your property. You have cost share funding programs through the Natural Resources Conservation Service and also through the Louisiana Department of Ag and Forestry. You can contact a local office with the NRCS or you can contact your lo local forest supervisor for your parish or your district office for Department of Ag and Forestry. Those programs can be very beneficial financially and supportive for helping you manage your property. There are also nonprofits that could possibly help you, such as Quail Forever, National Wild Turkey Federation, and the Nature Conservancy, all have a presence in Louisiana. We also sat down with Ronnie, one of our team members who works directly with prescribed burns, to share some key safety tips and first-hand advice for landowners. During a prescribed burn, it's, in, it's essential to have the proper PPE before you burn. When you're burning, at the very least, you wanna make sure you have eye protection hand protection, whether it's just leather gloves or if you can't get these big, thick wildfire gloves, leather gloves will work just fine. Make sure you have them, especially if you're holding the torch. 
For your torso, make sure you have a long sleeve shirt. Nomex shirts work great, but if you don't have access to Nomex, a long sleeve 100% cotton shirt is perfectly fine, very acceptable. FR pants, fire retardant pants, are great for prescribed burn. You want to make sure you have those. If you do not have access to FR pants, loose fitted denim jeans are the way to go. Of course, you want to make sure you have the proper footwear. Uh, leather boots, preferably lace up leather boots, are essential when you're on a fire. Another thing you want to consider before you go out to the burn is you want to have effective communication with your team. That's part of the safety. If you're not communicating clearly with your team, then you're a hazard out there on the burn. Have a form of com communication, whether it's your, your cell phone or a radio, and make sure everybody understands what the role is before going into the fire. One of the most important things you can do before a burn is make sure that you do the necessary prep work and planning before you burn. Uh, create fire lanes around your prescribed burn area and make sure that you have a plan in case anything goes wrong and anything happens and you know who to call and every person on your team understands what their role is. Another thing to consider before you burn is getting a useful experience and knowledge. If there's any local classes that you can take advantage of or you know other landowners that need uh, assistance during a burn, take advantage of that and get the necessary experience. Uh, local prescribed burn associations are also a good tool to take advantage of if you have access. One of the greatest benefits of maintaining a regular fire regime is the long-term improvement in habitat quality. Over the years, repeated burns promote a healthier and more diverse ecosystem by reducing thick underbrush, allowing sunlight to reach the forest floor, and encouraging the growth of native grasses and forbs. These improvements lead to better forage availability, healthier trees, and more balanced plant communities. The impact of prescribed fire extends beyond vegetation. It plays a crucial role in supporting the entire food chain. By stimulating new plant growth, prescribed burns create a thriving environment for insects, which serve as food for birds and small mammals. In turn, these prey species support larger predators, creating a balanced and sustainable ecosystem. Fire-maintained landscapes provide essential nesting, foraging, and shelter opportunities for many wildlife species, including deer, turkey, quail, and pollinators. Prescribed burning is a powerful tool that benefits both the land and its stewards. With proper planning and execution, you can enhance your property while contributing to a healthier ecosystem. At the LEAF Center, we are proud to be a part of this vital conservation work, ensuring a future where forests and landowners can thrive together. Thank you for supporting our mission.